All right, everyone, we have just gotten to Feralis, or Feralis, I don't know how to say it, politically correct. Um, and before we fight Trader Gluck, we are going to grab two different pets. Now, the first one is the Nether Fairy Dragon, which is one of my absolute favorite pets in the entire world. And then the other one is the Stunted Yeti, which is a lot like... Um, the Kunlai Runt and a couple of the other double counter pets. Uh, so let's see how this goes. I'm really hoping to find a pure breed. It doesn't matter the rarity at this point. It would be nice. Power balanced. Eh. We will fight him and kill him. Oh, I forgot. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is he going to run first? He's going to go dodge. Yeah. You stinker. I have a dragon type crushing ability. Here, he's probably gonna go Moonfire. Nope, just Arcane Blast. Gratefully, he is not running Life Exchange, but he still hits really hard. Okay, we're gonna catch you. Woo wee! Okay, I'm getting my butt kicked. Hmm, can I catch through dodge? I don't know. Okay. I can catch through dodge. Now, let's switch to this little fella. Okay. In what world is this the case? So... This poison is considered an elemental type damage, but I'm getting hurt badly by a poison. Where if you remember back in the Burning Crusade days, poisons didn't do any damage to machine types. That's why when you were doing um, that one giant mech in the Eye of the Storm, what's that raid called? With the drops the ashes of Alar. Anyway, rogues were useless in that because... Oh my goodness, neither of them leveled up. Look how close they are to leveling up. But they did not. Okay. Anyway, I think it's silly that machines take so much damage from poisons when, like, lore-wise, a machine would not take any <gasps> Power, power, and he is a... I mean, he's not rare. Uh, he's uncommon. But that is pretty good for a newbie. I really should have just used my uh, shield there. Okay. I'm going to hit him once and then... I'm going to shield because I'm hoping he does moonfire. Nope. Okay, if he gets a triple hit, will that kill me? 65, 65, 65, it will. Okay, so we're going to switch into this fella here. And then he's going to dodge. But I'm faster! Ha! Ha! Wow, that guy is so slow. Power power. Okay. Fly, you fools! Alright, I caught him. That hurts really bad, but I just crit you. And he's probably gonna burrow. That's what I would do if I was him. Oh, somebody rang my doorbell and I'm not wearing pants. Okay, I'll be AFK a second. <sighs> so it turned out that was the neighbor kid. Um, my wife and I, we bought like discount cards from him or something, I don't remember. He was doing a fundraiser. And my wife had pity on his heart. Okay. This is great. He's not... Oh, he is running dodge, but he's running it. And I'm faster than him. All right. So the reason I'm continuing to fight here is I'm hoping to uh, either run into a rare nether fairy dragon. Okay. Oh, this is a great matchup. Here. Yeah, Check this out. When I drop this bad boy right here, that's going to make that dot like almost do no damage at all. Yep. Okay. 
this is why a lot of people consider the Anubisath idol um, a double counter to critters, even though he doesn't have a beast type attack, is that so many of critter moves do very little damage that this guy is almost considered a double counter. Okay. Finish up that bite on the Anubis. How much experience is that? Wow, it's almost a level. Okay. You know, the Nether Fairy Dragon that I caught? Let's see, Pet Journal. Uh, I don't care about rarity anymore. We will filter sort by level. Okay. All right, where is he? I'm going to get rid of the power balance breed release. Okay. Heal up my pets. Once all my guys are level 12, um, I didn't even know this came in the health power. Hmm. That's just never a breed I would go for on this guy. Okay. Well, he's definitely going to hit level 12 from this. Um, here. But I'm going to switch into the NPD. Boom. Smoked him. Throw out that bad boy. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So the other type of nether fairy dragon I was really hoping to catch is the speed speed variant. Come on down, kill him, boom. Nice. Level 12, level 12, okay. We're level 12 all around, guys. Um, I'm gonna try one more nether fairy dragon. Be a, nope, it's not, okay, whatever. I was hoping it was going to be a rare, you know, just like the off chance that it could be. Um, here, then I will block your attack. Keep your dodge is off cooldown, and I'm going to smack you. Boom! Holy smokes. Yeah, when Crush hits on the high end, it is redonkulous, the damage that it does. If this rabbit was an SS breed, we would capture him. Interesting, I was expecting him to go burrow like three turns ago. Is he going to do it this turn? Nope. If I hit, then he's probably going to hit level 13. Does he hit level 13? 600 experience almost okay all right well what do you say one more just one more for kicks and giggles and it's an ss breed okay this is great now neither of the pets that i got were rares which kind of stinks i was really hoping for a rare breed Ooh, that's kind of dangerous i could very well kill him don't kill him ah <sighs> Now you know why having one of the pets that makes it so you never drop a pet below 50% health is so useful. Maybe I should have gone Grumpy instead of Chrominius. Nah. Poop on a stick. Okay. Maybe I should have captured that SS snake. No, I already have an SS snake on this guy. All right, Trader Glurk. Gluck. We're coming for you. I know you're just around here. Okay. Let's see. Tell me about yourself. You start off with the dragon. Okay. What does he do first? I think he actually does life exchange sometimes. Nope. He does dodge. So then that means I'm going to do my blockage, the old deflectione. Now I wish deflection actually deflect, ooh, check this out. He's going to do life exchange, and so actually I don't think that's going to do like anything 
Okay, it did 10 damage. Congratulations. Okay. And one more and I should kill him. Yeah. Okay, so there are some fights where the Anubis Sapphire really does sign, shine. You know, I wonder if you can get any power, power breeds of snakes. So the reason I switched there to the MPD is because he has a mechanical type move. Oh, that was a bad idea actually to switch. Because that means, I mean, because that's going to hit, well, I mean, it hits for an extra 50 damage. That's not all that much. Okay. Adios, snake boy. Boom. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the hit and die on this guy and come back to life. And then switch into my uh, Chrominius. Because he's got a type advantage. Okay. Oh, doorbell again. Uh, excuse me. Well, it seems that when I stopped recording, I had just hit Ravage, which is a two-round ability, and my, um, who was it here? Crominius finished up the fight. So, if you're dying to know what happened, Crominius bit them, and it was the end of the fight. <laughs>